Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. It is the Kid Cuisine Casey's Constructor Cheese Beef Patty and Bun on sale for $2.50 a box. I'm ready to get this out of the box. We're gonna see how it looks. Cooking it in the microwave. We're gonna see how this tastes and I'm gonna get this into my belly. Freezer burn starts right now. Here we go. Too cold. Too cold. If you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Greg's the frozen food master. He's best bud to your taste buds. Once again, today we are reviewing the Kid Cuisine Casey's Constructor. Casey the Penguin, guys, is at it again. If you recall, first he was like hosing down macaroni and cheese, woo! And then he was doing karate chopping. Now he's in the construction business. He's sizing it up because we got a cheese beef patty bun meal. It's interesting that they would lead with cheese. Cheese, beef patty, and bun. Now what's in it? Beef patty with cheese on a whole grain bun i.e. cheeseburger. Corn, i.e. corn. Baked french fries and tool-shaped fruit-flavored snacks. That's just packed with good stuff, guys. It's a real meal, according to Kid Cuisine. Premium beef patty and real American cheese. Now, as I said in the beginning, I got this on sale for $2.50. In my opinion, $2.50 is still kind of expensive for something like that. But then when you take into effect like how much would it cost to get Lunchables, which is equally high in price, um, I guess it makes it okay. Now, Kid Cuisine, I had a nice little like surprise in the last time I did a Kid Cuisine. If you recall, there were the little Pop Rock things and those things rocked. Now, this one doesn't seem to be much of a surprise. It's a fruit snack dessert and uh, already my teeth are feeling like chewy just thinking about it. What I'm really interested in seeing is how does this burger hold up? Especially the bun after putting it in the microwave. Nutritional facts. 198 grams for this meal, 9 grams of total fat, 3.5 grams saturated fat. Everything else I will list down in the, uh, in the episode uh, meeting notes. Okay, Kid Cuisine, microwave oven, cut and remove film cover from tray, except over corn. Do not remove it over the corn. Remove the bun, cheese, and fruit flavored snacks. Carefully cut bun in half using table knife. Then microwave meal on high for two minutes. Construct sandwich in tray. You're gonna pull, I mean, that, it's kid constructor, guys. We're gonna actually build this thing. It's amazing. It's like, I, I'm so shocked that they even have a kit for this type of thing. I can build my own hamburger right before your eyes. Continue microwaving 30 to 45 seconds until cheese is melted. And then let's stand two minutes in the microwave. Check that product is cooked thoroughly. Here we go, Kid Cuisine, patented blue plastic, and look at this rogue piece of cheese, guys. That cheese was like, get me out of here, right? He, he almost made it. Here's the thing about Kid Cuisine that I've noticed. Really, really loose um, type of wrapping there, and this is what happens when you get loose wrapping. A piece of cheese decides to overlay on the corn, and then all hell breaks loose. There's a loose beef patty in there. There is a bun, frozen solid. There's some crinkle cut french fries. Say that 10 times fast. There's some corn and then in a nice little separately wrapped packet, there is a fruit snack. So I'm going to remove this here, but not over the corn. And when I come back, I will have fully constructed this baby, followed the directions. I'm gonna tell you how it looks, show it to you actually going to tell you how it smells and I'm going to get this whole this whole construction site into my belly. Welcome back. So I've taken this out of the microwave. Man, it was like crazy construction going on, guys. I put it in for 2 minutes, then I in reinserted the bun and the cheese, constructed it to this like amazing feat of burgerness and then put it in for another 30 seconds until cheese was melted. Cheese melted pretty quickly. In fact, it was already kind of melting 
on my counter here uh, as I was cooking the other stuff for two minutes. Let's tell, let me explain to you how this smells, okay? It smells like a state, you know, run of the mill um, snack bar at a children's zoo hamburger. It's about it. It's about that same type of grades. There's like different types of grades of beef, and uh, this is probably C-ish range. Um, the French fries are basically non-existent. There is like just little scraps here, and I and I understand that these are for little kids, and little kids have little mouths. But I mean, look at that, dude. That's like a tater tot, and um, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The fact that I even attempted to count them means that there aren't enough. There's only 10 of them in there. Well, not enough for an adult belly. Let me put that in perspective, okay? For a kid belly, I'm gonna give, you know, I'm gonna talk about that. Okay, the corn looks like really nice fresh corn. Then again, it's really hard to mess up corn in the microwave if prepared correctly. I guess you could have messed it up if you pulled the film all the way off the corn and, and totally disobeyed, you know, Casey's rules. Um, so, but I didn't do that. Follow the directions, corn looks good. Okay, I'm going to get right to it, guys. I need to put this burger in my belly. Let's see how it tastes. It's an okay burger. Cheese, oh, it's dry. Cheese had, has a really nice good cheese flavor, which I'm, I'm impressed with, because I, I wasn't really thinking too high about the cheese. That cheese is pretty good. The bun, cooked in 30 seconds, surprisingly soft and moist, not chewy at all, really, really good. Let's get to the corn. Mmm. Fresh tasting corn, that's good. Finally, let's get to the fry. oh not finally, so I got a dessert. Here's the fries. Do not like those fries. Chewy, kind of um, just a weird consistency. And you know, I mean, are you surprised, right? I didn't bake them, put them in the microwave. I didn't deep fry them, I put it in the microwave. Um, it's just not, it's not that good. It's kind of chalky, don't like the fries at all. Okay, finally, this is the dessert. It's kind of like slippery, this bag. I don't even open this. Can't even open it, I need a pair of scissors here. Fortunately, I have one nearby. Okay, let's look at these. Look at that cute little hammer. It's tool time, guys. That looks like a, I, I hesitate to say cherry or strawberry, it's just red flavor. Let's see how this tastes. Oh my god. Super, super chewy. I would not give these to my kids. If they're too young, they'll choke on these things. If they're too old, they're going to destroy their teeth. I would not give these to my kids at all. Not really down with that. Flavor is good, but oh my god. It's like ingrained in my molars now. Not digging that. Okay, to recap, burger is decent. Cheese and bread, super surprising. Corn, good as expected. Uh, fries, bad as expected. Fruit snacks, great taste. Cute little shapes, horrible for kids. I would never give this to kids. Balance that all out, and we got the Kid Cuisine Casey Constructor on sale for $2.50 a box. I give this a two and a half star. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. Question of the day. What should the question of the day be? Uh, question of the day. What is your favorite gummy candy? Okay. You like gummy worms? Remember gummy rats? Personally, I like those gummy Coke bottles. Those are my absolute favorite. And uh, that's question of the day. Answer it in the comment section, please. This has been another review of Freezer Burns, Frozen Food Master. 
I'll see you next time.